Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Global positioning chips, boards, and applications are seeing boom times right now. And why not? People like to know where they are. People like to know where their stuff is. People like to know how far away from their stuff they are. And with the technology available today, it's actually pretty easy. Now, I've been building GNSS projects for years, mostly to monitor my position, where I am, where I've been, maybe monitor my speed or direction, things like that, which here in Colorado is especially helpful up in the high country. But suppose I wanted to share that information in real time, or maybe I wanted to monitor the position of something other than myself, say a package or a vehicle. Well, the good folks over at Ublox, who I love by the way, have created a module to do just that, and we've decided to integrate that into our Micromod ecosystem, introducing the new SparkFun LTE GNSS function board with the SARA R5. The SARA R5 on this board, specifically the SARA R510M8S01B, combines Ublox's UBX R5 cellular chipset with their M8 GNSS receiver chipset to provide a 5G-ready wireless IoT device complete with positioning data all on a single chip, offering secure cloud LTE M communication for multi-regional use. Let's look at the board itself. It allows an input voltage range from 3.7 to 6 volts DC. Uh, typically that means 5 volts through the main board's USB-C connector, or between about 3.7 and 4.2 volts DC via the main board's LiPo battery connector. And there's a Schottky diode to protect against accidental reverse polarity. The IO voltage is 3.3 volts DC and 1.8 volts DC for LTE. It has an onboard USB Type-C connector, a 6 volt 2 amp resettable fuse, and ESD protection diodes for USB data lines. There's a pair of 3.3 volt regulators, an AP3761C rated at 1 amp for the SARA R5, and an AP2112K rated at 600 milliamps for the GNSS antenna. There are two separate U.FL connectors for LTE and GNSS antennas. There's a nano SIM socket, I2C pull-up resistors, I2C EEPROM, and a SARA power on button. Onboard LEDs include power, SARA R5 on, and a network indicator. You'll also find somewhere in the neighborhood of a dozen jumpers for USB shield, 3.3 volt LED, 3.3 volt regulator and the GNSS antenna, LTE on LED, LTE on, LTE reset, network indicator LED, network indicator, LTE power on, LTE ring indicator on, I2C pull-up resistors, and EEPROM write protection. The board measures 37.49 millimeters by 61.0 millimeters, or 1.48 by 2.4 inches, and weighs a mere 8.05 grams, or just over a quarter of an ounce. Since it's designed to work with our Micromod ecosystem, there's no soldering necessary to get this board up and running. Simply match up the key on your LTE GNSS function board with the connector on one of our main boards or carrier boards, and then secure it with screws. In fact, this is what it looks like when inserted into our main board. We've also got some demos we're putting together, which I will be sharing in an upcoming video. So if you need an easy way to keep track of yourself or your stuff, and an equally easy way to communicate that information, look no further than the new SparkFun LTE GNSS function board with the SARA R5. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. People love to know how far away they are from their stuff. And with the technology we have available to us today. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, stay... <laughs> Global positioning projects, nope. You remember the thing I've been saying every week for three years? Can't remember it. <laughs>